Hey budget fam, I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, we have such good weather today and I haven't seen such a beautiful sunny day in such a long time. I just want to record as many videos as I possibly can. Today I want to focus on setting up my sinking funds binder. I've not set up one in quite some time and actually I feel like because I haven't set up one I haven't actually been focusing on them. So even though I'm doing all of my savings challenges and at the end of the three months, I took all that cash and I put it towards my expenses for my vacation, put some on, put some down to paying for some bills and, you know, just wherever I saw it fit, I felt like I just wanted to get a little bit more structured. So we're setting up a Zinke Funds binder and I've got this wonderful green binder from Maria over at She's Got It. She came up with a few new binders. I ordered two of the neutral ones, this one and that one. And she was kind enough to gift me with the green one and i am so so happy green when i see green i think of money i think of financial blessings i think of an overflow of cash so we're going to be setting up our sinking funds into this beautiful green binder it has the beautiful big gold rings and i love the gold hardware very simple and straightforward binder. It does have the lock, it's not magnetic, and I absolutely love that. So with that said, I have created some new inserts specifically for my sinking funds. Now, originally I had had just plain inserts with just the name in the center, and because I'm now using the green binder, I've, we're now in spring, I love the greens, the trees are coming out, I'm loving nature. I wanted something that was still minimal, still a bit on the minimal side, and I just wanted to add just a splash of color. You guys know that I'm obsessed with black and gold. You can see that in some of my, you know, my little decorations, but I wanted to add a, a bit of green to this. So this is the design that I came up, and I printed these on vellum paper, and then I laminated in matte laminating sheets, and then I cut them out. This design, you can get this personalized or customized on my Etsy store. I do have these same um, little designs available. All you need to do is just tell me your categories and I'll put it in the font for you. And that's basically it. I love using inserts with my cash envelopes because if I decide I do not want to stick to this specific category, I can just remove it from my cash envelope and then put in a new one. I just feel like that way is just so much better. And I might change my mind. I'm always changing my mind. And so I need to have a, a, a product or a, a physical product that works with how I do my stuff. So I have all of my cash envelopes here. And basically I just go ahead and I put in my inserts just like so, just like this. And I do have two inserts. I have this available in this green kind of design, but I also have it available in the coffee design. So you would have seen this particular design in my mini wallet, and we're gonna get to the mini wallet in a minute, but um, I do have two so far that you can get as a printable template. All you have to do is download it, print it, cut it, laminate it, and you can stick them into your cash envelopes. Okay, and each one of these kind of have like a different kind of greenery going on. So in total, there should be like six, six different um, kind of cash envelope designs. All right, so let's go through the categories that I want to focus on. I think previously I had high priority sinking funds and I had low priority sinking funds. And next thing you know, I think I was up to maybe like 20, almost 20 different categories. I've decided I want to stick to 12. When I'm doing fun saving challenges, I think 20 is nice to have because I have a lot of fun, but now I'm just dialing things back and I just want to focus on 12 categories so that I can achieve those goals just a little bit quicker. Um, I might change my mind next month. I might change my mind in the next three months. That's just the way that I am. But when it comes to my sinking categories, sinking funds categories, here's what I'm going to be focusing on. So in no particular order, here is the first category, which is going to be my emergency fund. Definitely need to start paying attention to this once more again. The next one that I have here is going to be college. I have my oldest that's going to be um, leaving school in another two years. 
I need to start making sure that I have funds available for that. And then two years after that will be another. And then two years after that will be another. So I need to start making sure that I have sufficient funds. All right. Another Zinky Funds category is health. I buy a lot of different supplements, uh, collagen and and uh, multivitamins and anything related to helping us live a more healthy life. Uh, cod liver oil, vitamin E, vitamin D, different things. This is what this sinking funds is for. I have, I've still been purchasing them. It's just, I've not been allocating cash for it. And I think sometimes when you don't have a budget set for these different categories, it's easy for you to kind of go over and overspend in that. And I've been using my credit card to make purchases and then put the cash back. So again, I need to just be a little bit more structured when it comes to certain sinking funds. So that's another um, priority for me. The next one is medical. Again, if there's any medical emergencies that do pop up, um, which hasn't happened in deck in a, over a decade, knock on wood, very happy to, to, we've not had any huge medical expenses, but again, the kids have a cavity and I have to take them to the dentist and this needs to get a fill or they need to get some cleaning done, different things. I think that kind of falls under medical because I do need to go to a medical facility for those kind of things. If they get sick, I don't need to go to the pharmacy. That's where this comes in. So this is more um, after there's a situation. This is what's going to pay for that. And then health is more of before a situation even happens. So this is preventative and this is kind of like aftercare. So those are important sinking funds categories um, that, that, uh, that pop up. The next one's going to be car expense. This is a new one. We recently got ourselves a new vehicle. Um, we haven't had one in a very long time because we didn't need one really, truly. We were taking a lot of public transportation, but now I felt the need for us to invest in a new vehicle. So this is now our new expense. I have to pay an annual uh, fee for the insurance, an annual fee for the inspection, and an annual fee for the NCT, I think it's called, National Car Tax. I think that's what it's called. So all of my car expenses, I'm not going to and then car maintenance so i'm not that's like four different categories and i don't need to have four different cash envelopes i just need to put everything into car expenses keep it keep the funds there and whenever i need when the time comes for me to pull from this cash envelope whether it's be for maintenance whether it be for the tax the inspection or the insurance it'll all come from one category and i just i just i don't want to have a bunch of envelopes this go around not for the sinking funds i'd rather have a lot of envelopes for saving challenges all right, so birthdays. I think we had birthdays and we had gifts as well. I'm wondering if I took gifts out. I think I did. So now I have birthdays and gifts all together. And um, you know the Zodiac saving challenge that we do for my weekly saving challenges? Like we try to do 10 euros every week. That's where this the cash is going to be going. So my Zodiac saving challenge will fund my birthday sinking fund and uh, we actually have had cash in here now since i actually started cash stuffing um last year so this has just really been floating around this is the money from gifts now the money from birthdays i use anyway we had three birthdays in february we'll have another birthday in june and then two more birthdays in september for me and my husband so again birthdays and gifts will now be together but um, that's just letting you know that it's for two different previous seeking funds. Next up, obviously, is Christmas. And I am so ready to start cash stuffing for Christmas. I believe I'm going to start cash stuffing for Christmas in June. Because during the month of May, I'm going to be very busy with my build a farm saving challenge at the farm island. And that's going to be uh, the focus of May for me, just trying to get that out of the way and save as much as possible. And then once June comes around, I feel like it's time to start getting a head start on saving for Christmas. So anything Christmas related, that's going to be going into that cash envelope. Back to school. I have to start spending come the month of June, so I definitely need to have this cash envelope ready and available when I when when the time has come. I'm gonna have to start shopping um, in a couple of months. So back to school for all of the six kids definitely has to be a sinking funds that I have here. So next I have vacation. Now I could have just had one envelope for vacation, but honestly, these are two different kind of vacations. Famcation is the family vacation for all of us, for me and the kids. And what we really want to do is we really want to go to Spain this year. And that's going to be a few thousands. So I 
how to start putting some emphasis on this if I really want to make this happen this year. Even if we don't get to go to Spain, maybe we'll do something local like go to the UK or something like that. Or maybe even to Germany, someplace in Europe. But I really would love to visit Spain for the first time. Vacation is different because this will just be me and my husband and I really, really want to go to Greece this year. Um, if I don't get to go to Greece, I'll go to Greece next year, but for our anniversary this year, I want to either go back to Paris, where we were, where, this that was Paris was our very first trip we did when we finally, when I started cash stuffing. So it means so much to me. Um, and I'm happy to go back there again. I quite enjoyed it. So if we don't get to go to Paris, I mean, if we don't get to go to Greece, Greece is my first preference, then we will go to Paris. And Maria was so sweet. She made me a Greece savings challenge. And so the Greece saving challenge is actually going to fund the vacation sinking funds. Anyway, so that's the two vacation cash envelopes um, that's going to go into here. Now, this and this are the last. This These are the last two. So it should be 12. Entertainment and miscellaneous. Anything. And then I just have a cash envelope in the back here for like if for any extra cash. Anything that, that simply pops up unexpectedly unexpected expenses unexpected a sinking fund that anything it's all gonna go to miscellaneous i don't need to have multiple envelopes for different things i'm just gonna stick everything shopping if my go over budget on shopping that's miscellaneous everything is just gonna come from here and if the money isn't here then i simply just can't do it and then lastly is entertainment um going to the movies maybe visiting a new area, going sightseeing, going to the library, maybe going to Starbucks to get some coffee or doing something. So entertainment is anything fun and exciting that we do locally or anything like that. Now, when it comes to taking like trips, entertainment has to come from, if I go on a trip and, and I do something entertaining, it's gonna have to come from the vacation if I'm with my husband or if you go with the kids, everything for that trip needs to go into the vacation this entertainment is just if we decide on the weekend let's take the kids to the movies let's take a drive down to the ice cream shop let's um buy some pizza and watch a movie or something like that that's all that's going to come from the entertainment cash envelope and that's it if we want to go shopping on the weekend and just buy something new that's going to have to come from miscellaneous i could have possibly put shopping in here the reason i did not put shopping in here is because that's gonna come from the wallet. So in my wallet is different. I have different categories into the wallet. So in my wallet, I have a category for transportation because um, these are the weekly expenses that I pull from relatively quickly, whereas these ones, I'm not gonna necessarily be pulling from these thinking funds every single week, okay? So again, the ones that I pull from on a more frequent basis i put that into my wallet and the categories that i have for this is transportation coffee lunch for when i go to work grocery shopping shopping and also i have a miscellaneous in my wallet as well so for my wallet right now i have a coffee theme in my wallet i made cash envelopes similar to this style here that I have into my sinking funds as well. So I do have my transportation, I have my coffee, I have food, grocery and shopping, and then I also have entertainment here as well. And entertainment could definitely come from the entertainment sinking funds here as well, if necessary. And you'll notice that this one has shopping and this one has um, entertainment in here instead of miscellaneous. I kind of made a quick change because I already have a miscellaneous here. I wanted this one to be a little bit more specific. So when I go out, if I need to do anything entertainment, I have the weekly wallet envelope. I have a shopping envelope, groceries, food, which you notice in the coffee, I have that as lunch. But now everything related to food will be from here. If we decide to get pizza or something like that, I have it here. Coffee definitely has to have an envelope and then transportation. When we need to fill up the car with gas or anything like that, um, that's what it is. I might actually keep both of them in here. But anyway, that's just um, what I decided to do for my wallet. And But I'll be setting up my wallet a little bit later. I want to finish using the coffee ones that I have 
here so far so those are essentially my um sinking funds and again like i said i also have this in coffee so if you wanted to design your wallet your um, sinking funds binder with more of a coffee theme you can do that as well i love this one so much this reminds me of cookies and cream that is so pretty i love this design there's six designs there's six styles available in the coffee so we have this one here this one that I love so much reminds me of cookies and cream, ice cream, coffee ice cream. Then we have this lovely one, looks like I'm in a hotel. And then coffee bean ones. Then we have a neutral one, but there is like little coffee beans on there as well. And then finally, some more coffee beans for this one as well. Right, so I need to do my nails this weekend for spring. And I started to take it off. And maybe I should do, I, I would love to show you guys how I do my nails as well, but that's another day. So that's everything for setting up my sinking funds binder. I'm really happy to have this set up because I definitely need to start cash stuffing it again. And the only thing this is missing is some stickers. So I have some stickers here that are a little bit on theme. Um so i could put this align your actions to your goals okay so we'll put that here and keep going that's what i want my money to do so i want my money to always keep 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 growing if you can dream it you can do it so i'm going to put that sticker here so i want that here i want this up just a little bit more let's put it up just a little bit more so we have a bit of space um, this was another savings challenge from saving with Alicia and then this is an IOU from Maria over at She's Got It. So I am gonna stick that right there and I'm gonna tuck this one right here as well. And there we go. All right, so my sinking funds binder is now set up. I'm very happy with how it turns out. I love this green binder so much. This came at the perfect time. Um, and that's everything for me today, guys. Don't be sure to check out these lovely ladies. She's got it, Maria, but she's got it and saving with Alicia, even though it has nothing to do with the today's video. Uh, just a quick shout out to these two lovely ladies here in Ireland with me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you set up your own sinking funds binder and uh, have your categories set up and whatever you want to focus on this year, focus on it. Keep going and keep growing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.